Liverpool's triumphant comeback to win the 2005 Champions League final in Istanbul against a heavily favoured AC Milan side saw one of the classic finals in European football. Milan, with the genius of Kaká, Andrea Pirlo, the tenacity of Gennaro Gattuso and the elegance of Paolo Maldini, took a 3-0 lead but were pegged back after Liverpool, helmed by Rafa Benitez, made several tactical changes. It was a victory for heart and head, with skipper Steven Gerrard to the fore. AC Milan lined up in a diamond formation, with Pirlo and Kaká both between the lines, shielded by the energy of Gattuso and Clarence Sadoff, and with additional width on the right provided by Cafu. Liverpool surprised many by starting with a 4-4-1-1, which could also be seen as a 4-1-3-1-1, with Harry Kuehl in the hole behind Milan Baros, Chabi Alonso patrolling the space in front of the back four, and John Arnarisa playing the left midfield to shore up Jimmy Traore's side defensively and counter the wide threat of Cafu, Milan's main threat from the flanks. Liverpool's intention appeared to be to create a screen for the back four, using Alonso to disrupt Kaká when defending before transitioning wide, Teresa or Luis Garcia on the right with long balls, pushing Gerrard up in support of Kuehl and playing Barros in, either from wide or pushing up so he could play off the shoulder of the Milan centre-backs. Milan was slower at the back and up front, and Liverpool hoped their pace would unsettle the Italians, and also that Kuehl, playing off Barosh, would tie up Pirlo and limit his creative input, or drag Gattuso or Sadoff back to mark. It didn't initially work, as Milan scored from a corner through Maldini, and then, with Liverpool creating chances, Kuehl limped off after 23 minutes. Vladimir Schmitscha, who knew he was leaving the club, came on and took up the right midfield berth, with Luis Garcia playing off Barosh. Milan took a 3-0 lead into the half-time break, having dominated the first half. While Liverpool did fashion chances, notably through Luis Garcia and the set-piece deliveries of Gerrard, and had a good penalty decision turned down, Milan looked the more cohesive, comfortable side and even had a goal disallowed for offside. Three goals down and facing a side playing with swagger, Liverpool had to change, and did, switching to a 3-4-2-1, with the injured Finn coming off and Didi Haman coming into midfield. Gerrard played in the hole with Garcia behind Barosh, with Alonso and Hammond anchor in the midfield and Risa and Schmitscha playing as shuttling wide midfielders. This immediately increased Liverpool's width and three men at the back could cope ably with the talented but not enormously quick Hernan Crespo and Andrea Shevchenko. Cafu and Maldini were pinned back more. Gerrard could unsettle Pirlo and direct attacks himself in much the same way Kaká had been doing for Milan, and Liverpool now had two attackers targeting Milan centre-backs, with both Garcia and Barosh willing runners who could drift into the half-space channels. Liverpool also pressed much more in the second half, and with the midfield more congested, could deny Milan quite so much time on the ball. Haman was a more adept pressing defensive midfielder than either Gerrard or Alonso, and the shift also allowed Gerrard more freedom to drive into space, knowing he had a solid midfield axis behind him. Liverpool's first goal, Gerrard's header, came from this very change, as the Liverpool captain had the licence to push into the box and, with Garcia and Barosh tying up markers, found the space to convert Reese's cross. Substitute Schmitscher scored the second goal before Chabi Alonso roofed in the rebound after his penalty for a foul on Gerrard was saved by Dida. In extra time, Milan sought to add width by bringing on Serginio Fasirdov, a more direct winger. Liverpool swapped Schmitscher for Gerrard, utilising the captain's energy to nullify the new threat. The penalty shootout, won by Liverpool and Jersey Dudek's two saves, was also informed by Benitez and his coaching team studying of how AC Milan's players took their spot kicks. The winning penalty, scored by Schmitscher, completed the most extraordinary victory in recent European football, a win for tactics as much as for belief and resilience.